Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Eric Parker with one number back with a, another video blog. Uh, just another scenario where I think it made more sense to show this uh, in a video demonstration rather than to write this out. So here we go. Uh, what I want to talk about today is how you can use multiple dimensions on color in the Tableau worksheet. Uh, so let me give you an example of that. So right now, I've just built a, what's called a tree map. Um, I'll link to uh, blog post that goes into more detail about tree maps momentarily. Um, think about them as sort of like a square version of a pie chart. So each section of this chart represents a different subcategory of our business and the size of the different rectangles is how much we've sold. So we don't sell that much fasteners, uh, but we do phones, right? Uh, so here's the thing is right now I've colored this uh, just based on category. Um, so right now with tree map without color, just it's got a bunch of blue squares. So I take my category field to color, and then it looks like this, right? Uh, so I can see my technology subcategories and as well as my others. Uh, so now let's say I also want a secondary color, and I want the um, size of the rectangles to indicate different shades of red or blue or orange. So if I just take my sales figure right now and drop that on color, it's actually going to displace uh, the dimension category from color. So watch again, category drop sales on color. So now I've just got a spectrum, but I've lost the red, orange, and the blue. So I'm gonna go back uh, to win categories on color. And what I need to do um, to get a second field on color is to actually drop that field in the marks card. Let's drop it in there, it'll end up having a little detail symbol next to it, that's fine. And you switch that detail symbol to color. Uh, but here's the thing, is if you do that with a continuous field, like a measure, um, watch what happens. It just does that displacement again, right? Um, however, if I do that with a discrete field, I'm trying to think if I've got another example I can show with this, uh, then it's okay. So here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that sales and drop it on the marks card again. Except for this time, instead of just adding it directly to color, uh, what I'm going to do is to right click on that sales field and switch it from continuous to discrete. So visually, what this does is it changes the pill from green to blue, okay? But now Tableau is gonna treat this field more like a dimension. So what happens is if I hit the symbol next to it and add it to color, it's actually gonna be added as a secondary color, right? So you can actually see both category and uh, sales have these color symbols next to them, okay? Uh, the only thing about setting it up that way is that the colors are oftentimes backwards of what you'd want. So for instance, I would anticipate that the darkest green would be uh, the phones with the highest sales, and then the lightest green would be, or the technology section, I should say, with the uh, least amount of sales. So then what I do sometimes from there is, I'll just make a quick edit. Um, I just double clicked on the sum of sales on color, so I get this ad hoc calculation. And if you just throw a negative in front of sum of sales, it's basically going to color, oh gosh, what have I done? It's going to color in the reverse order. I'm going to have to take it off of detail first. Let me try this all again. So negative, okay, so you have to put the negative in there first, then switch it to discrete, then add it to color. So the steps are important. Uh, but now that I've done that, I've got these colors um, broken out the way that I want them to be. Right? So the darkest green is the highest sales, the darkest blue is the highest sales. The only thing you might run into is then you end up with this kind of you know, crazy looking color legend. Uh, so what I would probably do is try and either use the color legend from a different chart uh, to help tell you what the blue and the orange and the green are here, um, or potentially just kind of create your own from scratch. So, uh, also link to a blog post talking about how to create your own custom color legends so that you have access to that as well. That's gonna do it for us, that was it being able to use two different dimensions on color in the Tableau worksheet. So thanks for joining and be back next week with some more.